All right, so let's talk about this new driver from NVIDIA. This is the 576.52. Now, the focus for this 576.52 driver is for Formula 125, doing awakening as well as full ray tracing support for Nautica Blade Point. It also rolls out support for the brand new RTX 5060, not the 5060 Ti, but rather the plain Jane 5060. Now, if you like my content, I release at least one video per day. Encourage me by just doing what's above here, like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit that notification bell as well. So these are the official fixes by NVIDIA for Formula 123 and Formula 124. The crashes at the end of the race should now be resolved. Diablo 2, as well, black screen corruption when using DLSS apparently has been fixed. And the crashes in the game Scum have now been resolved. Also, the issue where the shader disk cache wouldn't be created if the operating system name contained Unicode characters is now fixed. And finally, there is apparently a fix uh, for TGP limit issue, and this is pertaining to the RTX 50 series laptops. So there's still issues that have not been fixed, unfortunately, even with this 576.52 driver, and I'll be going through those now. Cyberpunk 2077, apparently the game will still crash when you're using photo mode with path tracing enabled. So crashes during gameplay continue to be a problem in the EA Sports FC 25 with reports suggesting that this started with the batch of 576 drivers. And there's still apparently crashes happening in Forza Horizon 5 when you're playing the game for extended periods. Dragon's Dogma 2, apparently there's still a shadow flicker in that game, as well as red-green flash corruption during video playback in web browsers is still prevalent and is suspected to be a video decoder issue. And if you have a 50 series card, you might find that the game enshrouded crashes upon launching it. And the NVIDIA app, which actually I don't use, but if you add an unsupported app to the NVIDIA app and you're enabling smooth motion, it still forces it globally to other apps. And again, for the 50 series cards, Battlefield 2042, apparently there's random square artifacts that appear around lights during gameplay. Another issue here that has not been resolved yet, NVIDIA control panel. So changing a setting in the manage 3D settings section may trigger a shader disk cache rebuild. Now this is unfortunate because I myself, well, I've played a lot of this game, Gray Zone Warfare, over 200 hours. I haven't played it recently, but apparently the game may still crash when you start it. Now, you might be asking, well, should you update to this driver? Well, do your research first. I will link to this Reddit post. It's very helpful. There's a lot of people here with all kinds of comments. So go over here, read through it, and then make the decision whether you want to take the chance on updating. But like I've said before, if your driver now is working for you in all of your games and applications, keep it. Now, unfortunately, this is not what you would call a stable driver. If you want to find a stable driver, I did a video on that and I will link it up above. There's a couple. If you have, for example, a 40 series and older, there's one. And if you have a 50 series, there's another one that you could choose. But most of the drivers that have been released lately, they've been terrible. And it goes on and on. People are reporting random crashes, freezing, blue screens, stuttering in games, performance dips. It's not good.